Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. Today we will be making a neat sleigh. I saw this sleigh at the Dollar Tree and thought this bucket can be something special. So I took some paint sticks and I boiled them. If you boil them long enough, they'll get pliable and then you just have to kind of work with them until they'll bend. It didn't take that long. I think maybe they boiled for about 15 to 20 minutes and then they were pliable enough and you just let them cool. Then I took the sleigh and I just spray painted it with a base coat, just a flat white. Next I took my Crimson Waverly paint and added just a little bit of ink to darken it up. And first off, I'm just gonna try and get in all of the little nooks and crannies and grooves here. And then I will just go back with my brush strokes and go all in the same direction. Next, I will just take this chip brush and grab a little bit of that ink paint. Now you just want it to be a dry brush. Oh, I've got a bit too much. I've got to tap it off a bit more. And I'm just going to take it to the side and darken some of the edges just to age it a little bit. So I'm mainly going to get that on the sides, but I want to go across the sleigh as well. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. Next, I took one of the microfiber towels and I'm just going to use that to make it as lining for the sleigh. So I start out on the top edge and then as I go down the curve, I'm going to go just on the inside and I will do that all the way to the end of my towel. Once I get to the end of my towel, I'm just going to cut the towel off, leaving about an inch. nice finished edge I'm just going to fold it back over the other way adding a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place and it just looks like it's the lining to Santa's sleigh it kind of reminds me of Santa's coat um, and it just makes a nice finish to the edge of this sleigh don't you think to take those gallon size paint sticks and I'm just going to sand the edges just a little bit I'm just gonna round them just a bit so that they're not so square I think it gives it a nice edge then I took an old rag and I wet the rag and I took some of my craft smart antique wax and I'm just rubbing it all over both sticks you will also then need two for each side so a total of four of the tumbling tower blocks I'm using the dark brown ones just because they'll match this stain a little bit better enjoying this video so far I do hope you'll think about subscribing I would love to have you as part of my friends and family all right we've got the two tumbling tower blocks on and then next we're just going to glue this rail just going to add a little bit of newspaper 
and recycle some of these Dollar Tree bags just to build it up a little bit. Then I have these tubes of the Dollar Tree ornaments. There's 16 in the bigger tubes and the little package of the not so shiny ornaments have 15. Just moving these around so that they aren't all red or gold. And I'm also going to add in some of these beautiful gold bells. I just love them with the snowflake on the end. Gosh, they come nine to a pack. I think they are a wonderful deal. Once I got this all arranged, I realized that this sleigh was just missing something. So I will add a little bit of greenery and a bow. Just a reminder, I did take this garland. It's $2.76 for nine feet. I think it's much more cost efficient than going out and getting a bunch of picks. And the garland I had snipped off earlier was a Rochester garland. That one was a little bit more expensive. It was over $6, but I have used it for so many arrangements. And I also used it as a filler on my garland in my last video. So, so cost effective. Okay, I used some floral wire, but you can definitely use hot glue as well. And you will see I was trying to decide between the two ribbons, but I'll let you watch here. just going to take and make three loops and snip them but keep them all together here and then I'll just take my wire and go around the middle to keep it all together and then I will just cut a piece of ribbon to tie around the wire to disguise that and help keep it all together and then cut the two tails at an angle it is as simple as this. This turns out to look like a very high-end item that just took a little bit of time and very little money to make. just going to hot glue this on the back of the sleigh and it is done I think it turns out beautiful again you could put greenery in the sleigh you could put little gifts you could put bigger ornaments make this your own but I think that this turned out really pretty please leave me a comment what do you think of this sleigh Thank you so much for watching the video I do appreciate each and every one of you and your comments and likes and subscriptions mean a lot to me that was the bucket we started with and here's what we got thanks again mm -hmm.